Okay, so we're back. Um, I have all my bars soldered in place, as you can see here. And on the other side, I've got the uh, positive and negative leads soldered on, although I haven't soldered the connections onto them yet. What I'm, <coughs> what I'm gonna do now, and I've actually already done it to this side, uh, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of denatured alcohol and I'm actually going to clean, if you guys can see this, uh, you can see all the brown crap that's all over the place. That's your, that's the rosin, uh, I'm sorry, that's the, uh, the flux that we used, the liquid flux. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little denatured alcohol and just wipe that off. Denatured alcohol will clean that sticky rosin crap off of there really, really good. And I've actually already done it to this side. Um, if you can, if you guys can tell on camera, this side is it looks a lot cleaner than this side. It doesn't have all this brown yucky spots all over it. So I'm just going to take a little paper towel, and a little denatured alcohol on here. Doesn't take a whole lot. And we're just going to wipe the tops of these off. And you won't be able to get all of it off. But you can clean it up reasonably well. Okay, so, now that we've done that, I'm going to flip it back over here. Here's our positive and our negative lead. And if I did all my soldering correctly, uh, this pack should, should register uh, right at around 9.6 volts, somewhere in that vicinity, uh, within a couple tenths of a volt is acceptable. So we'll get the, let me put it on this side so you guys can see it better. Yeah. Try to get the glare off of it for you. So we're just going to put our leads on here. And we have 9.9 .9 volts. So all of our battery connector, or all of our battery bars are showing uh, good connections. And we're ready to go on to the next phase of this thing. The next phase is simply really just uh, taking this connector off of this old pack and soldering it on to these new positive and negative leads here. So once I do that I will come back and we'll finish this thing up. Okay, now just so you guys get a better idea of what I'm doing real quick before I move on to the next step. Um, here's the four-pronged piece that actually sticks up through the top of this. So what I've done is I've just cut the wires off of the old leads. And as you can tell, these wires are just soldered on to these tabs. And uh, these wires here actually uh, look like, they look pretty bent up in certain areas, and they're not very flexible at all. They're really, really stiff. So what I'm going to do, I've actually removed the heat, heat shrink off of this one. See, this one still has the heat shrink on it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the heat shrink off of both of these, and I'm just going to unsolder these wires, and I'm actually going to get um, some comparable gauge wire some uh, nice wire, you know, something that has a silicone uh, sleeve instead of this hard plastic and, you know, something that's just more flexible. It's easier to work with. Um, and I'm going to re-solder the new wires onto here and then I'm going to solder those onto these two tabs here like it was originally. So I'll be back in just a second with that. All right, guys, um, I'm back, and uh, I'm just about finished here. 
I'm going to switch to the overhead view so you guys can see what's going on here. So, as you can tell, I've got, uh, I've got this thing all soldered together. All my battery bars are in place. And as you can see, I have soldered on, I soldered on new wires to this harness. And they're much more, they're very flexible, uh, very flexible type wires. Uh, silicone coated and all that good stuff. Got, you know, heat shrink the tabs to keep them protected and everything. I've bent them down into place like they basically were originally. The pack actually sits like this in the, uh, in the battery pack. It sits just like this. And, uh, in fact, we're pretty much ready to put it back together now. Um, let's see here. Get back out just a little bit so you guys can get a better picture of what's going on here. So, right now, I'm just going to put these side buttons back in here. Got that one in place. Now, this oh first off almost forgot a step here um, actually you know what I need to test this to make sure the last uh, connections that I soldered here 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 and here are working properly because I got to put the insulation backing on it and that's adhesive uh, backed with adhesive so once I stick it on there, it's going to be stuck. Not that I probably couldn't get it off if I wanted to, but anyway, better to be safe than sorry. So let's just give it a quick test here. And I am showing 9.9 .9 volts or thereabouts. Seems like I'm not making a very good connection here. There we go. 9.9 .9 volts. So I believe we're ready to put the backing on, which is going to require me to cut it out. Okay, we're back, and I've got these cut out now. I'm going to peel the bottom one off, <clears throat> or peel the backing off the bottom one, and I'm going to stick it on the bottom. Like so. Then, let's see, I'll fit this down inside of here. Like so. And we'll put the top piece on. This guy back up in here. And now we should just be able to screw it right back together. It's just a little bit of a snug fit, but it does fit.
Perfect. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you repack a cordless drill battery, or really any battery pack <clears throat> that contains individual cells inside of it, which almost all of them do. Uh, some of them can be extremely tricky to take apart, though. They design them to where you really have to know what you're, you almost have to know what you're doing in order to take it apart without breaking it. Luckily, these just had some safety screws in it, which are easily defeated. But at any rate, that's it for this video. Peace out, and I will be back with another one when I can. If you have any questions or comments, you can be sure and reach me uh, either on my Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com forward slash Wolf Studios 74. Or you could also reach me via email at graywolfstudios74 at gmail.com. If you like uh, RC picks, be sure and check out my Facebook page because that's where I keep all of my RC picks. Um, quite a bit of good stuff there. And uh, occasionally we try to... I'm really trying to get people more active on my Facebook page. I've got a lot of people that, that you know look, go there and look at the pictures and they like the pictures and stuff like that, but I'm trying to get more uh, conversations and, and whatnot going uh, on that page. So uh, if that's something that you like to do, feel free to hit it up and uh, try to start up some conversations. Maybe we'll liven the place up a bit. Anyway, I'll be back with another one sometime as soon as I can. Peace.